right guys, so here it is. I guess this is when you randomly build a wind turbine because you're so extremely bored during the pandemic period and you just feel locked up and nothing to do. So you just start gra gathering all your scraps, trying to put something together. Um, well, that's me. Yup. I'm pretty much running out of material, but uh, I did have some PVC left over. That uh, fan blade right there with the Ryobi, with the Ryobi uh, cordless drill motor. And uh, you know what? I thought I'd just go ahead and make a wind turbine. <laughs> right? Jesus, when you're bored. I guess it's uh, the whole concept that intrigued me. I was looking on Amazon, looking at DIY kits, trying to put something together, or thinking about putting something together. And I said, you know what? If I'm really motivated to do that, I'm gonna try to build one from scratch. And pretty much that's what I did. Let me walk up to it real quick, show you what I've got here. Uh, this large PVC I just dug into my planter there. And um, I've used, uh, for the fan blade, I used a Lowe's five gallon bucket cap. And then you see the Ryobi um, cordless drill motor there. Not a very powerful one at all. You know what I mean? Um, it takes a lot of RPMs just to make one volt. But like I said, it's just the concept of putting one, to, one of these together to see if I can do it. And then uh, I use this uh, fan blade here, uh, like the one over there. I just removed it from another one that I had laying around. And then um, I used that, uh, um, I got this piece of wood right here. I routed the bottom edge of it out so I could sink it into this cap here. And then uh, on top of this wood, I just used a, a turn knob and then screwed it in to that wood there. And then obviously up inside the PVC here is just a bearing and then uh, a piece of uh, a nut here that is actually wider than the bolt, you know what I mean? Just to close in that gap between the turn knob and uh, the PVC there. So, you know, and that bearing I just got from an old skateboard, you know what I mean? Um, and then obviously I got the leads there down to my voltmeter there. So I can provide a test to show you how many volts. It's not too many at all that this puts out. So like I said, it's just the concept, but um, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just science in the name of science. I was bored, right? You dig it, right? It's pretty cool, right? Well, let's see how many volts this puts out.
Feel this. Uh huh. For two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh huh. What? Ow. Two hundred and fifty dollars for this. 